All right, I figured I would uh, bring you guys back in for a little bit of an update of what I got here. So this is definitely not a huge success at this point. I see a couple of things I need to do differently. So this was the 8.5 millimeter one that I tried here. And then this is the uh, start of the quarter inch stuff or using the quarter inch uh, bit. You can kind I don't know if it'll really show up on the camera, probably not, but it's not, as it stands right now, it's not really going over the hump, kind of like I would like it to. And I think part of the problem that I have with it is there again, using a quarter inch bit instead of something smaller. I do happen to have this little itty bitty, about 50 thousandths less than an eighth of an inch. So it's a little bit dull. It's a little beat up. Just some used thing that I've gotten at one of the garage sales or whatever. But I think this is the direction I need to go is with an eighth inch bit. And I need to swing the rotary table farther to get these first ones. I don't even think you can really see the fact that it's got an arc across it. It's... Uh, I had only gone about 15 degrees in each direction and anything more was just not helping because it was just going to be um, <clears throat> removed later by the form bit or form tool. So I think, I think I need to use a smaller bit and I think I need to rotate farther on the rotary table by quite a bit to get it to come down farther on the sides here. <laughs> Dang it, get off there. <laughs> Anyways, I think the eighth inch bit will allow me to come farther down. So I'll probably spend a little bit of time tinkering with that. I just don't think it's gonna be quite tonight. But this is just a test drive of what it was going to, well, just to kind of give me an idea what I was getting myself into, really. There we go. So I crudely made myself a form tool, but it's a little bit off center. I need to tweak it a little bit farther. It's the way it stands right now, it's pretty much indistinguishable from simply just taking a mill bit and just going straight down and forming the flutes that way. So I want to go a little bit farther. I want to try and get, I want to try and get this small bit to come across the radius of this just a little bit farther, or actually a lot farther if I can. So this is just a, you know, half inch piece of steel, so not really out anything to test it so far. And then here's the uh, form tool. One of the things I may also have to do is I might need to run the form tool on the material first so that I have less material for this little end mill to try and uh, tackle. So we'll see. I'll, I'll take another stab at this with uh, the steel rod and see how that goes but it may not be yet today yet tonight because there again I think it's going to be another possible evening for hunting comets so I'll give this uh, one more try with this guy and uh, see if I can get the desired results I think I also need to change the uh, positioning on the dividing head a little bit and move it either closer or farther away from center. So we'll see. It's going to take a little bit of figuring out to get there, but trial and error.